Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, this is my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection from my childhood. And um, we'll kind of start going through this box here and we'll see what we got going on here. This brings back memories. This brings back a lot of memories. I hadn't seen this stuff in a long time. This is the Turtles collector case. As you can see. There you go. The way the box is here, I can't get, there we go, here. I couldn't get it all in frame. But there's the Turtles collector case. Now my Turtles are in pretty good. There's the back side of it. There's that parachute gun. I actually have that. I never had the skateboard. That's pretty cool though. I'd like to have that. But Geronimo dudes. It's kind of funny that the turtles here on the back are both depicted with red bandanas like the comic book. But the front side you go back to the front side there and they have their different colored bandanas. Pretty cool. Um, I was just noticing this in here. I'll bring us back closer this is the pizza shooter this is actually what this box is right here but for some reason I am missing the bottom portion of it as far as I can tell so far um, there's a couple of pizzas still inside here as you shoot you can see I keep dropping them of course but um we may fire this up if I find batteries for it. It takes some, um, let's see here. Yeah. It takes a couple of C batteries, it looks like. You can see there. It might still, hopefully it still works. I'd say it still does. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought that's what that was. This is the, that turtle parachute. turtle parachute that was in that depicted in that drawing there we put him in there and he's got like a he put a one of the figures in here and it's made for one of the turtles with the shells and it's a this is parachute I doubt that parachute with a loaded a loaded um I wonder if I had this these on backwards as a kid or if I put it together backwards I don't know we'll have to see that's pretty neat, huh? Now the next thing is really cool. And I'm glad it's still in good shape. This is the turtle van. I'll scoot it back here so we can get a good view of that. Still in good shape. And if you were wondering about the van, if it has the, still has the, all of that still works on it, that still pops out. Um, I don't know what, it, what other accessories it had inside of it, but these are still existing on it. They were just in, they were just sitting inside because they obviously won't stay on. They're like, they're rubber. They won't stay on permanently, but those are the those are the machine guns for the machine guns for the front of it there. See how easy they pop out. That's why they were down inside there. But it's pretty cool as you can see it's quite spacious, can fit your action figures in there. And then this this part does close this part does close up. You have to put it in there and then and then put the lid back down on it and it locks it down so there's the there is the turtle band fully functioning and still in good shape 
Most of this stuff is still in good shape because I um, kind of had this stuff in later in my childhood. Probably my, from probably 11 to 12, maybe 11, 10, between 10 and 12 years old. And um, so I quit playing with it. In the future videos, you'll see my Transformers and my He-Man are destroyed. Um, I played with them a lot, but then a lot of them got played with with my cousins. My parent, my mom let me let my cousins play with my toys, and he play, liked playing with the Tam He-Man, and they're just destroyed, completely annihilated. So, and they're an embarrassment. But I do have my turtles left, and they they did survive fairly well. So, I'm only this box here looks like has the figures in there. And some of the pieces that go to the, I apologize, I'm not showing it to you. Um, some of the pieces in here and the figures, and this goes to the, uh, the pieces that are down here goes to the, um, the play set there, which I'll pull the box out. The box has come apart, it looks like, so, but I still have the box to the original play set sewer, the, the sewer play set. But here's the back side of the, that box I'm missing this bottom portion for some reason I have no idea where it is so hopefully I can run I can find it hopefully it's just mixed up somewhere else I'd like to have some of these other ones here like the motorcycle and the that one so not so much it's not it looks kind of boring but I might be missing this part of it actually I think I have this part someplace down in here I think that part exists in the box so I think I do have the pizza oven end on it and I'll show you the front side of this box before we break into it there's what the front of it looked like pretty cool too motorized disc action disc fire action pretty cool let's break into the box here Um, I cannot remember, this is, looks like a box, I do, the reason I remember, I just remember some of this stuff from back when I was a kid. This is just a box of accessories that go with some of these guys and some of the weapons here. And um, I don't know what this thing goes to, this, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if this goes to the, the van or what it goes to. This might be, this might be part of the van. I don't remember. We'll we'll pop the van over here in a minute, but it's it's spring loaded. It's supposed to pretend like it was, you know, you're shooting garbage or something. But we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Like I say, and these are just sewer segments for the sewer play set. I don't know why they're in this box and not in there. They they must not fit back in the box correctly. We'll set these to the side at the moment. I assume that's part of it as well. Here's the first guy here. He's a sumo wrestler. I do not rem Some of these guys were made kind of towards the... They were made kind of towards the end. Or at least the end of when I was collecting. And they were just... Um, you know, they were just... They'd throw characters in there just to sell the toys, like they sell them. They, you know, like they would do a whole lot in these cartoons. There's a sumo guy. Here's a cool one. Here's Baxter Stockman, and the he has his he's complete with his wings. Oh, there you go, Baxter Stockman with wings. These, these are surprisingly in good shape. Most of these guys are in good shape. Except one guy. And hopefully I can find the head that goes to this. This is an alligator guy. Um, I can't remember his name. But I don't know why his head's missing. And I found this figure actually in another box. So I'll have to... Um, have to find the rest of them hopefully here's a uh, robotic turtle I don't remember 
his purpose. He's just probably cool, but he's like the, I don't even know. He's, he's got yellow coloring and everything. So I'm not sure what he was, what his character was. I just don't remember him from the show. Um, I, I need to go back and watch some of the latter seasons of the series and find out what he was, his purpose was. This guy is always, he was one of my favorite figures. Some of these guys I'm missing, like their weapons. Some weapons are missing. I was trying to look and see if his weapon might be in the, I don't know if this, this bow and arrow belongs to him. It seemed like it might belong to him, but I'm not sure. He, I'm not missing too many of the weapons, but this guy was really cool. I do, do remember him on the show, but I don't remember his name. Pretty cool guy. Samurai Bunny. There's Bebop. Here's Splinter. Um, I don't know if I have the I don't understand why I'm missing the the rest of his suit I don't know if he had like a cloth suit or what I need to look that up on eBay and see what kind of see what kind of garb he had but for some reason I'm missing I'm missing his outfit I don't know why I, I, I I'm not sure if he had one or not but I'm pretty sure he had like a some kind of like Japanese type of kimono you know his normal thing that splinter war i don't know why he's missing that there's outer space Raphael. it's the only one of these that i had and i do have the helmet that goes with him i don't have any size for some reason i'm missing the original Raphael size and I don't know if this guy has weapons or not, but this is a kind of a cool, I need, that needs to be cleaned, obviously. I don't know why it's so, um, fogged up looking. It's just age, I would imagine. But that's pretty cool. This guy's pretty cool. This shredder also is the same way. He's missing, like, his top. Like these are only Shredder and Splinter, the only ones I'm like missing like their um, suit for some reason. I don't know why I'm missing his, I don't know why I'm missing his suit for. It's kind of a disappointing. I, I don't understand why he doesn't have it. I was looking through this stuff to see if I had it but in here, but it doesn't look like it's in here. Pretty weird. Here's this frog guy, just random frog guy. I don't know his name. I was I was thinking here. I don't think this is Mondo Gecko. I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, I don't remember that guy's name. Here's this bug guy here. Um, I'm thinking this guy might have a set of wings that go to him. I'm not sure if this. No, I thought that might have, that set of wings might have, that set of wings didn't go to him. I don't know if he had wings, but this is a bug guy. He, I might remember him from this show. I can't remember. I'm sorry I don't remember these guys' names. I apologize. Because these were just kind of random guys that, that kind of came along towards the end of the series. Or at least the end of the, you know, when I was watching. This is Disguise Donatello, it looks like. These are a series they had of guys with disguises. And he does have a disguise. He does have a human face disguise. As you can see, still have the face. Pretty cool.
I'll just go ahead and show you the original Donatello. You still, I still have the bow staff, both bow staffs. But that's one of the original run figures right there. Pretty cool, huh? Here's Raphael. Um, for some weird reason, I'm missing the size, though. I don't know why I'm missing his size for... I think they were little and it's easy to misplace. I remember them being around but it seemed like i remember being like in a lego box or something possibly but i don't have them anymore i don't know why i'm missing them it's kind of disappointing but maybe i can find a set one of these days to re to put back with him original leonardo both swords Pretty pretty nice little figures, really. They're not bad. They they got some decent detail on them for the size in the era. So pretty nice looking. Michelangelo, my favorite. Most of the I think most kids' favorites of the day for obvious reason. But he's the nunchuck guy. I got both sets of nunchucks there on him. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? I really like them. The original Casey Jones. Missing the club, so I'm missing, like, I have a bunch of weapons missing like that. But I'm missing his, his clubs. I'm pretty sure he came with, like, golf clubs and a baseball bat and stuff like that. And I'm not seeing them in the, I'm not seeing them in the box here, so they must have, been a few things that disappeared over the years. It's kind of disappointing, but it's what it is. That's how it is. Pretty cool, though, huh? He may have, like, a hockey club. His favorite thing was hockey, I think. Hockey and had a baseball bat, maybe. Here's one of the Foot Clan members. Pretty wild looking, huh? There's a Foot Clan guy. Here's, this is a, I think the surfboard I have down here goes with him. Yeah, this is, this is Lee, this is um, Michelangelo, like surfing Michelangelo. And this surfboard does, yeah, the surfboard goes, the surfboard definitely goes with him. I'm sorry, I'm. And I'm going to try to put him on it here and pose him on it. I thought at first when I put him up there, he didn't, wasn't going to fit, but he fits. Not well, though, but. There you go. Ain't dead, dude. Talk about the 80s, the early 90s. Sir for Michelangelo. Glad I still had the board for him. This guy's really cool. This is Samurai Leonardo. I don't have the swords for him for some reason. I don't know. It seemed like he had some cool swords too. I don't. I don't know why I'm missing some of these swords. Um, I'll have to go through this bag after I get the video off here, and and I'll um, have to um, figure out if some of the weapons are actually here. But that's what I like about him. That's what's cool. You see the feet. He's got the sandals on. And one foot kind of off of them. It's this is like really nice detail on this particular figure. I wish I had the whole set of these guys. Some of these I didn't have the whole sets of. I just had like one of one of one guy and one of the other. 
Oh yeah, there's Rocksteady. I'd forgot all about having Bebop and Rocksteady, both of these guys, but I did have them. I thought at one time I had a, the Crane, the one with he went up th with him in the little like robot, but not the one where he's in like the big robot where he fits inside the human looking robot. But the, I'm talking about the one on the TV show where he walked around that looked like a little um like ostrich or something. It just like had a little clear clear bubble. I think I had that Crane, but I don't know. It's not with this stuff, and it's went missing apparently. So I don't. That's the one thing I don't have. There's Rocksteady. And the last we got here is this duck guy. And I, ha I cannot remember him to save my life. I just call him Howard the Duck. But it's pretty weird, huh? Pretty cool. There's nothing else left in the box. I know I'm sounding real excited here. I'm, this is really cool, but I don't know if I can extract the, like I was saying, the boxes come open with the playset in there. I think I'm gonna rebuild this playset for you guys. And if you can see there, there is the box. And after I get it built, and I'm going to set everything out so you guys can see everything set out and it displayed out nicely. And um, I'll show you the box then. And we'll um, cut on to that next scene. Don't you guys think about anything but pizza? This is uh, kind of the conclusion of this video. Um, I'm going to go through a few things. Here's the playset reboxed up, and I've got it taped up now. Unfortunately, I had to tape it up to, um, you know, hold the box together so it stays together for another 20 years, hopefully. But there's the box with the playset in there. I did look online and look on eBay and see how much these sets were going for, and um, they're not really, uh, they don't really sell for a whole lot of money. Uh, a good one in a box somewhere, some of them were at 300 bucks, but I'd say in the shape mine is in, 
I say if you a hundred bucks is probably a, the real fair offer for something like this. Now, and if you notice before I pull this away, I did find this piece to the van. This is the shield, and this was the only thing missing to it. So I'm glad I found that. And uh, let's see here if you can see it. It's just the visor, but that becomes the that becomes a shield. It's pretty cool and it's supposed to be like a gun on top of this one's looks like it's got a few uh limp issues there but there's the whole van i don't did i show you all three all the sides earlier if i didn't there's the stickers and there's the vw van motor in the back and there's the, these stickers foot stinks and the turtles all go and that shifting around you heard that noise was just the these are the mirrors I do have both mirrors for both sides but they're just inside here and if you guys want to see that that action a little bit better how it all works you Pop the top on it here. Let me kind of set it down. It's, it's kind of stuck for some reason. Huh. There you go. You can see it there. One last time. Probably bored about seeing that. Probably bored seeing that again. Then you just put it back together. Put the lid back down. It stays down back up in the normal driving mode there there you go <laughs> pretty cool little van I'm glad it's still in good shape after all these years but as you can see I promised to show you the box a little bit better I don't think you guys got to see the box in full glory earlier um, yes yeah, really brings me back to the you know late 80s early 90s now the story behind me getting this set if you guys want to know is that I actually got this on vacation when I was in Daytona Beach Florida I'm from Kentucky here we used to go to Florida a lot for uh, as many parent you know many people on, around this area do and um I got this in 1990. I think this set came out technically 89. It probably came out around Christmas 89, I would imagine. And um, but I got this in probably the summer of 1990. And uh, this was the same summer that the movie came out. And in fact, the movie came out probably the same day that I got this because I went and seen the movie either the day I got this the day of the movie coming out, or I got this. A couple you know I got this the day after but here's kind of your side view here here's your bottom view here's your other side view I'm not going to concentrate but this is the side that I wanted you guys to see and as you can see here, there's the original Toys R Us from Daytona Beach. Toys R Us um, price tag on there. And um, you can't see it. If I get real close, you might be able to make it out. I might be upside down there. I think I am. I'm upside down. But with the magnifying glass, I was able, able to make out how much you guys think this cost in 1990. A playset like this, a playset like this would probably be at least a hundred bucks today. This was thirty nine ninety nine in nineteen ninety. Thirty nine ninety nine. I couldn't believe it either when I seen. It, I was like, wow, that's really even for nineteen ninety. That really wasn't that expensive. I mean, yeah, I know my parents probably had to sacrifice a lot whenever you know because my dad owned his own business at the time. He probably had to sacrifice a lot just to buy me stuff like this, but. That wasn't too big of a sacrifice there. That wasn't too bad. But I probably got a couple other men as well. And here's the back. I have not shown you the back yet. There you go. There's the back. Shows it all depicted. Try to pull that 
crap up there so you can see that. Oh, that was part of my... But this right here, that's a pretty cool little uh, vehicle. I never had that one. I don't think, it looks familiar, but I don't think I ever had that. Obviously, I had this guy here, but there's the playset from Playmates, ages four and up. I think they made a more advanced sewer playset later on, but that's after about this time period, it's about the time that I kind of quit playing with toys not much longer after this because i remember having this displayed for a while with the turtles posed and i'm a little bit disappointed in my i i'm pretty sure i'm missing a few figures i can't remember exactly which figures i'm missing but i'm quite positive i had an april o'neill i had an april o'neill figure and um i had mondo gecko it seemed like I had some skateboarding guy too. The guy came with a skateboard. I don't know if that was Mondo Gecko or not, but I had I had some others. I don't I do not understand why they're missing because they definitely should be here. For you know, for the most part, I think most of my stuff is here. And for one last update, if you guys are sad about it, I have not yet found the rest of this. And and no, I did put batteries in it and test it. It does not work. Unfortunately, it's not a working not a worker anymore i'm sorry hopefully it could be because the bottom half well no the bottom half just rolled manually i believe it didn't have any motor mo mechanized kind of motor in it to turn you know make it move around and stuff but it was just a motorized thing that she sh would launch these out but i'm pretty sure you can get online and find those for sale now, the one last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to run through a few of these uh, figures again and show you that I did have some accessories that I didn't originally have on there. And here's the first dude. This is that duck guy. And these are his wings. I did have the wings. They're kind of lopsided there. They actually had to press in them, press on him pretty hard to get them in. So, but they, I, I did have that those accessories. I do not remember this guy at all. He must have been somebody I got at the very end of collecting because I do not even remember his name. I don't. Even, he's just some random guy I got for Christmas. Um, yeah, I was trying to find the weapons for you guys and um. That went to some of these guys and yes i do have the baseball bat the broken baseball bat for casey jones as you can see um i'm pretty sure he had some other weapons as well most of these guys came with a lot of weapons and and sadly enough i do not have the rest of them but at least i have the one that guy you seen earlier I've shown to you earlier the Raphael Spaceman. Yo, this is Yo Jimbo. And I think later on when I got older, I realized there was a movie called Yo Jimbo, and that's where I, I recognized it from. And I should have remembered that early, but this is Yo Jimbo. I do not have his saw, his so his sword, and I do not know why. These are some of these should have been because most of this stuff I had posed with the play set towards the end. I didn't really play with them. I just kind of had them posed. Here is this guy again. I do have his gun that goes with him, but it don't want to go in his hand very well. But it's like a, it's a little gun that has bang on it. It's like a, it's like a, a joke gun. And, um. It doesn't want to fit in his hand for some reason, and um, I don't want to force it in there. I don't want to break the hand, because it felt kind of rigid. I didn't want to break it. Um, Baxter Stockman, again, with wings and his fly swatter, as you can see. Baxter Stockman and fly swatter. I think that's about it. I'm trying to make sure... 
I do have some other accessories in here that that I'm not sure what goes to what, but I did have one other cool sword in there, but I don't know who he goes to or nothing else. But but yeah, I'm kind of going to wrap up here and start getting everything boxed back up. But there's the playset again. It was really fun doing this. Here's the other box while it's uh before it's uh, put back up. Here's the other box for the pizza thrower. Like I was saying, I wish I had the, the whole thing here. I think in another box I may have found the remnants of this of this wheel here. Sorry, I had a little low there, and I had that of that wheel. And I don't know if I took that apart at one time or it got broke or what happened. I wish I, I would have liked to had I would have liked to had that guy right there, that motorcycle. That's really cool. But yeah, what do you guys think? I'd like to hear you. Uh, I'd like to hear what you guys have to think about your. Uh, if you guys have any of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. Uh, to, I like to hear stories from your childhood about the era of collecting these toys. Maybe your new stories of new collectors who's really got into collecting the new turtle stuff, which I do not collect. I might, after getting these out, it makes me have the desire to go and pick up maybe a couple if I ever see them. Um, I don't really desire getting into the hunting game. like they. It's really difficult the way I'm hearing it to really pick up some of these toys these days. So, cause mostly us adults buying them from what I hear. And, um, yeah, I'd love to hear your feedback on this. Um, you know, on this uh, video, um, I like to hear what you guys think about the turtles and what do you think about the movies? What do you guys think about the, the first movie is wonderful. And you know, the other two are not so great. I like the newer two movies. They're not bad, especially the, the last movie, um, Out of the Shadows, is excellent just because they really reverted back to this era, and you could really see that the, they really cared about this, the, especially the TV show. But, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I appreciate you watching, and I am out of here. We turtles don't know the meaning of the word defeat. That's right! We never bothered to look it up in the dictionary. Don't you guys take anything seriously? Of course we do! Like what? I should have guessed. <laughs>